kids would take, in grade schools, might take real magic markers and write on our screens and ruin them. So it's made out of aluminum. It's telescoping. It's got a little infrared LED on the end. So now I can come up here just to show you. I don't have to be right here. So it's all right. Now you go, well, that's nice to be able to move a window, but that's not too useful. And I'm going to minimize it just to show you, that, just to kind of get it out of the way. I'm connected to my computer. This is wirelessly connected to the Wii. That software is, that software, what calibration is, you only have to do that like once. When I click here, it knows that I am the position. It's figured out the position of the infrared pin. So now when I click, it knows that on my screen, I'm clicking at this coordinate here, it knows where this is mapped to this. So just, just trust me, it, it knows what it's doing. There's actually another option that, that Orin likes, and I think we probably would use it. It's free also. It's called Scribble Screen. And if you notice there, it actually took a snapshot of the background of your computer. We won't show that quite yet, but you can come up here and say, just I want it to be a, a, a board. So I can just start writing. And it's got different, you know, you could actually come in and change your pin color to purple. You can come up to a highlight, oops, highlighter. Come on, Tony. You can highlight, you know, if you had something you could highlight with it. And so that's that's kind of what scribble screen does. You can change. I made the eraser size really big. If I'm on a racer, I can just go to racer real quick and come back up. I'm on pin mode. Okay? So that's the idea is you're digitally, you're getting it into your computer. You go, okay, well, that's kind of cool, but what's the power of that? You kind of, let's say we're going to a website. I mean, one thing is you could use this just for kids. We're going to go to Google Maps today. And use it just to scooch around, get the double click. And now, let's get rid of this. Maybe that'll scoot over. Now, today we're going to talk about Kansas. Well, they go, where's Kansas on here? So, what you do is you pull up Scribble Screen. And what it does, instead of this, you say, instead of board, a whiteboard. You want to be glass. So now I can say we're going to study about Topeka. Maybe over here in Indianapolis. Don't forget Utah. So it kind of gives you an idea that you can write over pictures of whatever you might have behind it. So if you have pictures of the lakes or whatever you're studying, then you can use something like this with the glass. Nothing else, even if you just wanted, didn't want to use it for anything else, you just want to use it to just to run your mouse, run your computer. You can't do it necessarily from back here, you're going to have to be up front, so there's some disadvantages. <coughs> and it's really, you just have to start up one program in the morning. Once you calibrate, you don't have to do it again. And it works pretty well even if you change the that might make a difference, but it doesn't seem to kids. We try to make it such that if you want to write like a pencil instead of like this, you can do that too. And that's another reason why it's like this. So anybody in the district? We got one going so far. <laughs> and actually this will stay in here in Jackie. She's the second person, actually. What happened? All right. Comments? Questions? So we have to have the actual software on our computer, though. But we, okay, that's why. Yeah. And we can install it. It's, yeah. it's just, it takes a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, really. The, the thing that we were debating about is how sophisticated. 
complicated do we get? This little program's easy, you know, the little makes noise. That's pretty easy. The third one we looked at, and, and we might use it to, particularly at the high school, and I just want to show you what it looks like. Meritech is a, is a program out there to do some video conferencing, but what we're, we figured out is that it's got a whiteboard already built into it. So really, what it's got is it, it's got some of the similar kind of tools. It's got a pencil tool. You go, well, that's, that's kind of cool, but and it's just a little easier to get to some of the functions. Um, you can draw circles. And so, I mean, we can put that on there, too. The, the one thing that's really nice, you see how it says you just create new pages. So let's say you're, you're doing something here. Remember the first page we were at? Oh, let's do the square here. My point is, you can do math problems. You get your screen full. Instead of erasing it, you can just come down and choose another screen, a virtual screen. I mean, it's just a new blank document, kind of like Word. So, I mean, there's some advantages to this little program because you have that capability. And what's even cool about it, so here's our web page. It actually has a camera function too, and I think it's this one. See how it turns into a camera? You click twice, and then it throws it into Meritech. So then you can come into here and highlight. Which one's the highlight? Is that the highlight? You can highlight the documents too. So it's a pretty sophisticated little piece of software for free. The best thing about it is you can create new pages actually take pictures of whatever is behind it. So, I like it too. It's just, it may be overkill and it may not be. Well, this, there doesn't seem to be much that it doesn't have the, well, the, the, the pay software for the Interact boards. There's not much that they have that just doesn't seem to be. What was it that we actually, I think, had it on here, the Interact software. What does it do? It does That's a bunch of pre-built, like, Oh, it has lots of graphics. But, I mean, you can find those on the web. I mean, it's just a little less convenient. You don't have all the maps. I mean, on the Interact software, it's got maps of everything. And you just click and drag up, and it's, you have to work a little harder this way. But I, I guarantee you, probably, there's no way we're going to get everybody a, a Interact or a $1,500 whiteboard in the next two, three years or four. I can say anybody in the district that, that has a projector, we can get this in this year. Type your text. The other thing, because I thought about that too, because one of the problems is what do you do about, oops, let's go to script. Well, let's just do this one. What do you do about text? How do you get text on here? And actually on your Mac, it's got a uh, keyboard viewer. You can actually, uh, maybe I can't do it on this one. Oops. One second. It's this program. Scribble screen. Scribble screen, you can go up to where it says text. And instead of having a Here, you can actually type D, G, return, return. Or is that a return? That's a shift. It's not too good. But it gets you the idea. If you're in a web browser, for example, if you're really, you want to come up here, I think that's, you can come up here and actually type in Holton. So you actually can't, it has a little 